Hello and thanks for joining me on Sports Pilots in Florian. Another exciting edition of Sports Vibe with GNT World will bring you exciting and latest sport happenings across the world of sports. Remember, we are on international break where players get to represent their national team across the world of football. We have so many updates for you, so please stay tuned. We'll be right back after this break. Welcome back and starting from the world of boxing, the initial fight scheduled to take place between Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury come April has been cancelled as both parties couldn't reach an agreement and in the world of football, Bayern Munich has confirmed the appointment of Thomas Tuchel as their new head coach. Tuchel, who was sacked by Chelsea, has been made available for the appointment by Bayern Munich. The German coach was initially coaching Borussia Dortmund in his first spell in Germany but is back to Germany to coach the arrival of Bayern Munich. Will he be able to win the Bundesliga? For Bayern Munich this season. You can remember that Borussia Dortmund and Bayern Munich are in fight for the Bundesliga this season and Thomas Tuchel will be facing Pep Guardiola Manchester City side at the quarter finals of the Champions League this season. Will he be able to recuperate the same form where he defeated Pep Guardiola in the finals of the Champions League to win the trophy for Chelsea? Can only wish Thomas Tuchel the best in the Bundesliga and with the German team. And also in the world of football, like Danny Bramovi becomes the oldest player to participate in the Euro qualifier at the age of 41. Like Danny Bramovi who become the oldest goal scorer in the Serie A after converting a penalty for the club side AC Milan the week before the international break. Now is the oldest player to participate in the Euro qualifiers. Like Danny Bramovi close to be aging like a fine wine. And also in the world of football, it has been a lively start for Roberto Martinez as the new head coach of Portugal. I remember Roberto Martinez resigned as the Belgian head coach after failing to qualify out of the group stage in Qatar 2022. Now he's managing the Portugal side and he's having a lively start to his career as the head coach. After winning two in two matches and scoring 10 goals in just two matches and considering none. And talking about the Portugal side, we won't fail to talk about a great individual and the person of Ronaldo, who is now the player with the most international appearances with 198 caps for Portugal. Ronaldo is doing well for his national team, becoming the player to have represented his national team the most with 198 caps and also he has scored 122 goals for the Portugal national team. Ronaldo is doing well in the year 2023. After his switch to another team, one would have thought Ronaldo has nothing to offer in the world of football, but he has proven us wrong. And in the year 2022, Ronaldo has scored 13 goals in just 12 matches. Remember, he scored a direct free kick for his club side before the international break and on his 197 game for Portugal, he also scored a direct free kick. Quickly, let's go on a very short break and when we're right back, we'll continue from where we stop. Come back and still talking sport, talking about Ronaldo. Can't feel to talk about Lionel Messi, who has scored his 800 career goals against Panama, where he scored a direct free kick. On that particular day, where Ronaldo scored a direct free kick for his national team, Portugal, Lionel Messi also scored a direct free kick in a friendly match against Panama to get his 800 career goals. It's an impressive one as the rivalry between Ronaldo and Lionel Messi continues even after 14 years in the world of football. We can't get to have enough of these two greatest of all time. And also in the world of football, Harry Kane becomes England's all-time top scorer, scoring 55 goals in 82 games. Initially, where Rooney was holding the record with 53 goals for the three Lions of England, but their captain, Harry Kane, has broken that record to become the highest goal scorer for the England national team. Harry Kane has so many individual records and so many awards for himself. He's yet to win a trophy for both club and country. Do you think he'll be able to win any with Stottenham or do you think he'll be able to win the Euro 2024 with the England national team? And talking about Harry Kane club side, Stottenham has sacked Anthony Conte as their head coach. Remember, Anthony Conte had an outburst after their 3-3 draw with Southampton 
during the weekend in the Premier League where he said his players are selfish and lack winning mentality. His statement has cost him his job as the head coach of Tottenham. Remember, Anthony Cote is a serial winner winning so many awards across Europe and now he has been sacked. What is the next step for Antonio Conte? Will he be returning back to Inter? There are speculation that he wants to return back to the Italian side. You can only wish him the best in the world of football. I'm still talking about the three Lions of England if Antonio makes his first appearance for the England national team. Remember, he couldn't make the call up to represent his national team at Qatar 2022 where Wilson was chosen ahead of him. But at the Euro 2024 qualifiers, he was substituted for Harry Kane at the 88th minute to come forth for his first appearance for his national team. is an interesting one if Antony, the striker, getting to represent his national team. An interesting one that African nations would like to hear. Morocco got their first ever win against Brazil in an international friendly where they defeated Brazil two goals to one. Remember that Morocco had a glorious outing in the Qatar 2022, making it to the semi finals of the competition. And now they have been able to defeat Brazil. Remember, they defeated Portugal, they defeated Spain, and now they have defeated Brazil. Morocco are doing absolutely well and has shown to us the reason why they are called the Atlas Lion of Morocco. And also in the world of football, we can't fail to talk about the youngster in the person of Kylian Mbappe, who has become France national team captain. Remember, Mbappe is just 24 years old and is the captain of France national team ahead of the life of Anthony Griezmann, who is his vice captain. And on their opening match in the Euro 2024 qualifiers, Mbappe scored a brace against Netherlands. And now Mbappe has more goals than Karim Benzema for the France national team. The youngster is doing well for his national team at his age, representing them and being their captain for the France national team. This is the letter to which will be going on this week edition of Spot Vibe on DNT World. For more news and sports stories, follow us across our various social media handles at Spot Vibe on DNT Walk. Stay safe and enjoy your week. Thank you.